So how's the advisor search going? Yeah, it's going well. My PI said he only has funding for one, but he said I'll definitely take it, so I'm pretty excited. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. How about you? Um, yeah, it's going well. Same thing. He said he'll only take one, but um, indicated that he'd probably be in the group. So that's I'm awesome. Good yes. for us. We're killing it. Yes. So, turns out we were talking about the same PI. Can't win them all. So I'm gonna find a new PI. Wonder if the materials department has any openings. I don't have anger issues. I'm just passionate. I'm Martin Bazant. I'm the executive director here at MIT Chemical Engineering. I'm pretty proud to say we've had a really successful semester this fall. The, a lot of exciting research going on in the department, and of course we're welcoming the first year students, which are always, which is always an exciting opportunity. They have a lot on their plate though. They are taking some pretty intense classes, they're integrating into the Cambridge community, and maybe most importantly, they're trying to find an advisor. So the chemistry department has this great new app that I heard about where you can actually swipe right and left on professors uh, so you can try and find your advisor. So I'm going to go check that out a little bit. Let's see. Oh, this guy has so, all these plants with carbon nanotubes. Man, Strano looks like a good fit. Yeah, I'm going to swipe right on him. Oh, man. The, Professor Swan says he can F solve all my problems. Oh, that sounds great, too. I think I'll have to swipe right on that. Oh, but. Professor Dean's an author too, you know, you gotta love publications, that's great. Oh man. You know, electrochem, like, electricity runs the world, so you can't beat that. And then, oh, last but not least, we got Brats. And, you know, I've heard he's got great control over his research, so gotta give that a try. You know, like, I don't know who to pick still. I guess we gotta do some work on this app. My group is largely interested in catalysis and the production of sustainable chemicals. Now, uh, previously we used to laboriously test many different catalysts and reactions experimentally, but since then we've switched over to using software and machine learning. Machine learning. Machine learning. Machine learning! Today I'm going to talk about plants. Nanobionics. I don't, I don't want to brag, but basically our lab invented nanobionics. So we started wrapping carbon nanotubes and phonons and other things and we put them inside plants and they can send us emails and we're actually working on plants that can do research on their own. So I'm not hiring any new postdocs anymore because most of the plants that we've been developing can do that. This is, this is something I want to show you guys. This is uh, Michael Jr. It's a plant we just developed and he's actually enrolling as a graduate student. He's going to be a first year uh, along with you guys. He's going to be yeah, taking classes with you and and there he is. So, pretty exciting. Why don't, why don't we just uh, try drawing this mechanism on the board? Uh, yeah, yeah, let's let's do that. Okay. Mm, I know. I know. Yes. Right, yeah. Station is lost. I got it. Yeah. yeah? <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Electron that comes out of here. And then boom, goes into oxygen. Yeah. Well, what, <laughs> how, does, how does that look? Yeah? What if we try uh, water instead? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I missed the water. Yes. Right there. Right? Why did I just have a meeting with Cartiche? I'm a master student! Alright, homework time. Demetrius said this one's gonna be easy. Should be nice and quick. Alright, time to get started. A highly reactive fluid passes over an oscillating plate. A technician adds a strong acid to the plate at rate RT from the end of the plate. Use a Metropolis Monte Carlo simulation to calculate the chemical potential of the gas in the Carnot engine. Demetrius, really? Does anyone know how to do number one? Not even. That's not as close at all. I got it! I got it! I got it! Solve the Marangoni flow problem. You just, you take the Laplacian, you scale your coordinates, move it to the other side. Similarity solution. That's it. It's done. It's done. Solve problem. Where did, what? Where did you come Dude, up with that? Dude, this is what Plant was doing. He just, right, that's how I figured it out. Why? I, I, he couldn't really explain it. He just, he just kind of looked at me, you know? Just. It's the answer then. So after this last lecture, you have all the tools that you might need to solve this homework assignment. And I just want to remind you guys that if you stop learning on these assignments, you should stop working. 
Um, these assignments really shouldn't take any longer than nine hours. And if it gets to that point, you should just turn in what you have. With everything the students have learned, this assignment's going to be trivial. They'll do fine. Is that nine hours? Yeah, I guess that's it. That's nine hours, right? I guess I'm gonna print this thing. Time to print it out, call it a day. Yes, sir, yes, sir. What about the, uh, Next assignment, what are you doing, transport? Yeah, I think we should start transport next. Sweet. I think it printed, by the way. Oh, yeah, it. sure. Green. Well, God, I'm just so exhausted all the time because I spend all my free hours working on transport and numerical, and it seems like we just practically live here. Come on, plant. <sighs> Gotta go, Luke. Moana. Me neither. All right, let's get started, everybody. So today's reading is from chapter 4.3 and chapter 8. Today we'll be discussing a irrotational flow around a sphere. So if we consider a sphere in a moving body of liquid, the uniform velocity far away. You know, my, my old teacher, you know, he, he used to call everything a potato. Anyway, let's see, we can write, we can write the equation as Laplacian to the fourth of psi is equal to zero. Now, the way you, you solve this equation is you go to uh, appendix B, and the solution to this equation is tabulated in table B, 14, for every possible scenario that you would not see on an exam. At the start of the semester, I found all of Dr. Bazan's notes. I thought it would be kind of funny to just place them and see what he did about it. Now that we've arrived at the Navier Stokes equation, does anybody have any questions? Uh, yes. This one is a series should be negative. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, so, 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 so sorry. Yes, it should be negative grad script -y. Um you know, if, you, if you guys see me make a mistake, you know, feel free to interrupt me. And sometimes it's hard to see from when you're writing up on the board, whereas, you know, back here, but yes. And also, you know, sometimes my notes and the board don't always agree. So I figured he would find out right away, but he's kind of just been going with it. It's kind of weird. Like he's just been using those notes all semester. Yes, yes, okay, that's... Okay, that's that's her. That's her. Convince yourself that this is the case. Convince yourself. Convince yourself. Convince yourself. Convince yourself. Okay, so any questions? Yes? So what's the difference between Kinetic and Metropolis Monte Carlo? That's a great question, a great question. So just imagine you're in a strawberry field, right? So you're tasting strawberries from here to here. This, this is like a, a kinetic line car where you can only taste the strawberries right around and we actually do some of this in my own research, you know, where we do some control theory. 
hip hop, it's hot Cause I found a hell of a way to fuse it Switch rock, jack rap, switch die Don't wanna lose yourself, I'll make him lose it I don't know how to make songs like that I don't know what Follow? Okay, great Okay, good, good So, today we're talking about uh, a nanowire Infinite conductivity, infinite conductance So who's excited? Who's excited to see this? Okay, great, great, good, good, great Let's go, let's go ahead there. Oh my god I am late for my first test. Wrong, wrong, wrong! What is this? A Halloween haunted house? I couldn't see anything. But, no problem. I will go get my secret weapon. I really need to do well in this transport exam. Por favor, señor, tenga ayuda a pasar este examen y te prometo que el siguiente voy a estudiar más una, de mi semana está nada más penos para poder. I mean, you know, you can never be fully prepared, and I think it, it definitely went better than last time. I realized partway through I was missing homework number 43, so that'll probably cost me, but all in all, I think it was okay. Hopefully I'll be within one standard deviation. Oh, what? How'd it go? Terrible. What'd you get? I lost 1.5 points. 98.5. Oh, I'm sure it'll be okay. 45. Not bad. <laughs> I didn't do well on my exam. But how did my dad know that? <laughs> Fall semester definitely has its ups and downs for the first year grad students. Some challenging classes, but in the end, they learn a lot. And you know what? They're really better for it. And through it all, they make great friendships and they're ready to start their careers as researchers and incredible graduate students here in our department. Something like that? Perfect. Strawberries. 